The Van Camping Channel is brought to you by these sponsors. Well, we're starting off the morning in a location that wasn't where I wanted to be. I came in late yesterday afternoon and I was hoping to get to a location that I've been to before. It was a few years ago, but it was this time of year and the grass was tall and green and the lupin was blooming and it was very stunningly beautiful with a creek flowing down through this valley and I had this preconceived notion that that's what we would get to when we got here to yesterday but it was raining it was gloomy everything's muddy it was making it very difficult to get around in the van so I cut myself short and found just a location where I could safely get into and shut down for the evening uh, the weather is still looking pretty gray and it's supposed to be that way for the next three or four days they're saying like 60 percent chance of rain it's a little frustrating at first but you know it's springtime and you know it's just the way things are and you know mother nature runs the show and you just have to accept that The content created on the Van Camping channel is made possible by the support of the members of the Van Camping website, www.van-camping.com. By becoming a member, you'll be able to enjoy the video content I create free of all advertisements and have the ability to download the videos for offline viewing in 4K. Your membership also gives you access to forums where we talk about everything from vehicle builds, camp recipes, photography, and video creation. 
Certain membership levels also gain access to my personal GPS database, full of amazing locations to camp around Oregon. Consider becoming a member today, and not only will you become a part of an amazing community, but you will play a major role in creating new awesome adventures that will be shared on the Van Camping Channel. Well, we're just sitting back having a little bit of breakfast this morning. It's actually a pretty nice morning. We've been here about three days. This is the morning of day three since we, we pulled in and the weather has just been all over the board. We've had moments like this where the sun's peeking out and it looks pretty nice. And then we've just had a uh, massive rain where it's just coming down like cats and dogs. <clears throat> but. You know, we, like I said, we have had some breaks and uh, we've been able to get out and do some hiking and checking out some of the hills in the area. You know, one of the things I really enjoy doing is just getting up there, sitting down, finding a spot to kind of relax and uh, pull out my binoculars and just scan around and see what kind of wildlife might be moving around the area. Well, it's a little unfortunate that I didn't bring my longer lens uh, this was just kind of a hike just to scout things out and see what was going on around here. I knew there was a lot of wildlife, but I've been seeing tons of deer. And in fact, over on that next plateau over there, we've got a small group. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to get up here maybe early morning, late evening with a long lens and try to get some wildlife photography in while we're on this trip. So I definitely would like to get back up there and spend some time with the longer lens and try to get some nice photos of the deer that are moving through here. But I think today we're just gonna hold tight. Uh, we're supposed to have some thunderstorms moving in and some more rain this afternoon. So I'd like to be able to get up on that hill again and just shoot some time lapses and see if we can get some cool shots of the clouds and the lightning and everything rolling through. We'll just have to see if that all materializes. Tomorrow, things are supposed to change a little bit and we're starting to get into a string of nicer weather. So I think at that point, we'll go ahead and move out, go see if we can gather up some firewood and then find a place where we can lock down for a little bit longer term. Hey folks, are you tired of having to squat and kneel in your van? Consider a trip to Wasatch Overland in Utah and have a tough port high top installed as I did. I can't tell you enough what a game changer it made to be able to stand and move freely in my van. Wasatch Overland also does beautiful and comfortable interior builds. Build your dream adventure van today 
with the great group over at Wasatch Overland. All right, well, I've been spending the last few minutes getting myself uh, ready to go here. It's a little bit early. Uh, thunderstorms aren't supposed to really kick in and for another probably two hours, but I'm already starting to see some clouds of mass over the van and I have heard some rolling thunder uh, coming from the hills. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up on top if it doesn't look like it's ready yet. I'll just spend some time screwing around, maybe see if I can find some deer to take some pictures of. But I just wanna make sure that if it comes through, and if it comes through early, I'm up there and ready to capture it. Well, I just stopped here for a minute, catch my breath. We're coming straight up from the van. It's pretty steep and I'm feeling the extra weight of the 600 mil winds. For the past couple days, I have been kind of wandering around these hills and climbing them, but I haven't been taking that lens and it's definitely a, a brick inside my pack or feels like a brick inside my pack right now. But it doesn't hurt to stop every now and then anyways and just look about you. There's some stunning, stunning views from up here. We've already had one small storm kind of pass over. It kind of went a little bit more to the northwest and didn't hit us too much, but I can see plenty of dark clouds coming our way. I still think we got a good opportunity for a good show, so I want to get myself up, find a good spot to hunker down, and uh, hope for the best, hope for a good storm. All right, well, we've gotten up here to the location that I think uh, we'll work from. We'll at least set up somewhere in the in general vicinity. So I think what I'm gonna do is I got a tree here and a rock. This is, looks like a good place to shelter up in case these storms bring in heavy rain. I can set up a little bit of a tarp here if I need to, to keep myself drying out of the weather. All right, so we've been up here for a couple hours now. It still continues to be stormy, but we haven't had any lightning for a while now. It's just been wind and rain. I'm a little disappointed because I look back at the footage and I know two strikes happened why I had the camera going, but I was shooting a time lapse and I was shooting one frame per second and I ne didn't catch either one of the strikes in the shot. So that's a little bit of a bummer been a good show for me up here but uh, don't really have much to show to you guys but I think as it is right now I'm starting to get a little bit on the cold side and since we haven't had any lightning for a while I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up and head back down to the van the content on the van camping channel is brought to you in part by the sales of my very own primal outdoors coffee if you're looking for a great tasting coffee to take on your next outdoor adventure go to my website www.van-camping.com and pick up a bag of Primal Outdoors coffee. Primal Outdoors coffee is available in light, medium, and dark roast. And for my followers out there with Keurigs, 
Primal Outdoors coffee is now available in K-Caps. Fuel your next outdoor adventure with some Primal Outdoors coffee today. Well, it's been a couple of days since we were up on the hills shooting uh, time lapses of the thunderstorm. Over the past couple of days, the weather has gotten much better, and today it's actually very sunny and beautiful, so I thought we'd go ahead and move camps. There's a location that I've been to before that I really was hoping that we'd be spending most of our time in, but because of the wet weather and the really muddy roads, I just decided to hang out in that other location for a couple of days until things had a chance to dry out. I did take the time to go ahead and air the tires down just to give me a little bit more traction plus it just makes the ride a little nicer on some of these rockier roads but it looks like to me things are pretty good other than some good mud puddles uh, the road itself is pretty dry and there's a lot of rock and firmness to it so I don't think there's going to be any issue getting back here. So this is the location that I was hoping I'd get to when we originally started coming in, but I decided to hold off a few days until things started to clear up and dry out a little bit. But getting in here, I'm very happy. It looks beautiful right now with all the green grass and it's just very picturesque in this valley with the river flowing through. And I've already done some wandering about the camp a little bit and there seems to be a bunch of already like trimmed up junipers that are dying off and some that are already cut down. So I think there will be plenty of firewood and with this landscape where we're at now, there will be lots of places for me to be able to hike off in any direction I want and do some more exploring or maybe even get in some more wildlife photography.
All right, well, I think we've got camp all set up. We've got the van where I would like it to be. We've got easy access to the river. And then we got all the firewood in that I think we should need for a few days. And then I've got a warming fire set up and then a nice little space to where I can cook separately from the main fire. It's gotten a little bit breezy this afternoon. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful out, but there is a little bit of a breeze. So I think we'll wait to fire things up until after the sun drops over the hills. Typically the wind will die down after that and hopefully it'll be a little bit calmer.
but we just have a very pleasant morning. It's a little bit chilly. There's some dew on the grass, but the sun does feel extremely warm and comforting on my face. Other than the chatter of birds and the crackling of the fire and the gentle flow of the river behind me, it's really quiet and peaceful. It's definitely a stark contrast to the type of weather we started with on this trip, with the pouring rain and thunderstorms and gusting wind. But with even with all that, you know, it's just been nice to be out and uh, do some hiking. You know, we've checked out a lot of the surrounding area. We've shot a little bit of photography. And it's just been a really nice time. You know, it's just the fact that Mother Nature's moods are going to vary wildly when you're out in the spring and especially here in the mountains. But the good setup like I have with the van and the mind for adventure, I think a person can enjoy everything she has to offer. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free 